Service Dogs of Distinction. Presented by the 2018 Nissan Titan. I'm here today with Don Gardner, the co-founder and head trainer of Service Dogs of Distinction. Don, can you tell me a little bit more about yourself and what got you started? Sure. My prior history with dogs, I've been training 30 plus years altogether. Um, started out with just general obedience and obedience for the public. Um, started showing dogs and different things like that. Uh, then I got into drug detection dogs, um, but more specifically explosive detection dogs. And I really enjoyed that. I thought it was a way that I could give back to our country, uh, myself not being in the military or police, uh, but I knew that through the bomb dog world I could give back something to our country. Um, and that drifted on into this and then when I got a chance to start with the service dogs I knew that was really where I needed to be, what I needed to be doing. Great, great. So can you tell me more about the training process and what's it like in general on a day-to-day -day basis? Right. Uh, well, generally we start with a dog that is one to two years old. Um, uh, rescue dog, shelter dog, donated dog, uh, something of that sort. And the other trainers and myself, we bring the dogs into our home. Uh, we train them until they have their foundation skills set, which is basic obedience and a few other commands uh, that is needed in day-to-day -day life. And we want to make sure that the dogs are pretty solid in their foundation skills before we pair them with the veteran. Uh, and then we start training with the veteran and the dog together. Great, great. And as you said, you guys uh, prefer, you guys use sheltered dogs um, and things of that nature. Some use puppies. What went into you guys' decision behind that? Right. Well, before starting this, uh, my co-founder and myself had both previously been with other sort of service dog organizations. And um, then calling around and checking with other organizations. Organizations that have puppy programs have a, a, a huge budget for the puppy program uh, that unfortunately 40 to 60 percent sometimes of those puppies wash out. Uh, they are in foster care for up to a year, then they come into the, to the training program. Um, but like I said, unfortunately about half of those don't work out. Uh, we don't want to waste that resource. Um, we we uh, are charged with being the best stewards of our money that, that we are blessed to get and we don't want to waste any of it. Um, the other part of No Puppy Program, we can get a dog in, trained and paired with a veteran so much faster. Uh, we can generally do it within some 30 to maybe 90 days uh, to whereas with the puppy program you've got at least a full year of training the puppy before it potentially could even be paired with someone. Great, great. And Don, overall what has this program meant to you? Um, like I said before, I think I, I finally stumbled across, if you will, my true calling. Uh, I, I truly believe that um, you know, God gave me the talent for training dogs to be used as a gift to help others. Uh, and this is uh, an area that those others, our veterans, need help the most. And there are so few resources out there that can do what we do with the dogs and the veterans. Right, wonderful. Don, thank you so much for your time today. I really appreciate it. You bet. Thank you. Thank you. For more information and to donate, go to servicedogsofdistinction.org. Service Dogs of Distinction, presented by the 2018 Nissan Titan.